Hello, relatively refined fans. I'm so excited to be joining my sisters Paula and Patty and sharing with you all how we have created warm and comfortable homes on a, on a tight budget. Um, I'm Kathleen and I'm the third sister of five siblings. And throughout a series of videos, I would like to share with you um, our four year journey of completely rehabbing our grandmother's home in Southern Vermont. Um, and really filling it with pre-loved pieces, big and small, that we have collected and repaired and repurposed along the journey. As a way to start small though, I'm going to give you a little glimpse uh, inside our finished home um, that we have been working on for four years and really share with you three of my absolute favorite thrift shop finds. Um, the one I'm gonna share with you today is a vintage brass and bamboo bar cart. And bar carts have become very popular. Um, they sometimes get ridiculous prices for them. You can buy them new or you can find them old um, and vintage. I happened upon this one at a sale um, and I believe I paid $50 for it. And it's, it's a beautiful piece. Um, so I would like to share with you how I have featured it and given it a really prominent spot in my dining room. So this is the dining room in our new house. And there's Rudy, our daughter's dog, who we are dog sitting um, for a couple of months. And the, the, the floor plan in this house is pretty open. Um, and we tried to keep as much as we could from um, of the character uh, when my grandmother lived here. So these beautiful honey floors are original. The space, the placement of the windows are original, um, although we, we replaced the windows. Um, and she too had her dining room table set up in this space. So the dining area, I mean, the table, the dining room table um, is probably worth a mention because the top my husband made for me probably 15 to 20 years ago, I always wanted a long sort of farmhouse table and he was able to salvage some barn wood from uh, a barn from where we used to live um, out in Paulette, Vermont. And you can see the character of this wood is just gorgeous. And he really made it into the perfect dining room table. Um, I ordered some legs from Etsy. These are metal sort of taper, almost a mid-century modern shape to them. Um, and he was able to put that together and that was a wonderful Christmas gift that we've used quite a lot in our new space. The chairs are new. They're one of the, the few items in this house that are not pre-loved. Those are brand new chairs that I ordered from, um, I believe it was West Elm. So there are only two pieces, three pieces of furniture in this dining room. There is the table and there is a corner cupboard and then there's the bar cart that I had referred to. I think the light fixture is probably worth a little show. It's got a few little, um, I got a 50% clearance after Christmas. These are actually Christmas ornaments, these paper, but I thought they were sort of a fun bit of color for um, to add to the chandelier for the winter months. So we've had those up since I've taken the Christmas decorations down. So I'm gonna come around here. There's the corner cupboard that is um, that I also got on a Facebook marketplace for $95. And my sister Paula might recognize these botanical prints. I bought them from her from a tag sale many years ago, probably 25 years ago. Um, so as you round the corner to the window, you will see the bar cart. And it is glass and it has, this is brass. This is I didn't polish it because I actually liked the look of it kind of worn um, and you know not shiny and then the legs are bamboo which i thought was the coolest thing and so what i have done is to obviously put liquor on the bar cart and a few other essentials like a shaker you know a cocktail shaker um, some lemons and limes i only have limes in here today um, this little, um, it's pretty tiny, it's maybe eight inches tall. Cast iron um, urn was from the thrift shop at my local thrift shop. And an old sampler that um, 
actually was made for our first home and I took it with us uh, to this home. And both of the homes that we lived in were both vintage 1869, so they're, they're old homes. I always keep napkins. My mom supplies me with fabulous <laughs> napkins. These are little skiers, which is perfect. Today we are getting a beautiful storm of about, I can kind of show you out here. Um, we've already had maybe six or eight inches of fresh snow, so we'll be looking forward to playing in that tomorrow. And it's a two-tiered cart. So if you look down at the bottom, it has, I just keep a few glasswares, like some drinkware, so some coupes, some sort of bourbon glasses, um, an ice bucket that I picked up at an estate sale and some tools. Um, and one thing that I think is pretty special that I got um, at the thrift shop are these little glasses, very vintage. There are 10 of them in the set, beautiful turquoise and gold pine cone. And then the decanter, and I actually use it for eggnog at Christmas time. The decanter matches and the top is actually like a little measuring cup. So you could, if you wanted to add rum to it, you pour it in there and dump it in and it's also a top. So I keep that down there more kind of for display, but also I do use it. And I change out these little lights on it. These are icicle lights, but in the summertime, I will put different lights on there. Um, just to, like I said, I, I give it a very prominent spot and feature it since there are only really three pieces of furniture in this dining room. So I think the, the idea here is, you know, you get a vintage bar cart, you can make one out of an old metal stand. This one is really a bar cart. Um, but it doesn't just have to hold liquor. It can have little kind of things that, that mean, that matter to you um, and kind of break that up a little bit. And it, I have fun and I switch it out. It's fun to decorate it for the different seasons. So right now we're just sort of in post-Christmas uh, winter mode, although we should be thinking spring pretty soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed your first glimpse into our 1869, we like to call modern farmhouse, uh, home in southern Vermont. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the bar cart as much as I do. It's one of those things that just adds a certain flair to a room. Uh, the next video clip that I'll share with you will be another one of my favorite pieces that didn't, that took a little bit more work than the bar cart to get to, um, to get it to look how it does now, but it makes a, a statement piece and it's uh, one of my all-time favorite. So for now, cheers.